I think, yeah, I think what happens in Berlin is like that there's, there's a lot of people which of course then creates like multiplicity and not one center, but multiple, multiple centers, multiple perspectives, multiple alliances, which is amazing. I think this is also like what brings uh, other kind of creative uh, possibilities. But of course, then it's like harder to it's harder to act upon. And my feeling when I was here more last time, which would have maybe been like two, two, three, two, three years ago, 2014-15, was very much. This was at the time that like there was a new direct direction of Tanzi um, August and uh, actually how, and then also it was slowly announced that the Volksbühne would. Uh, change direction and I felt uh, the social tissue of the scene is falling apart because there's so many new people coming in and a lot of work is being done in opening possibilities but then people who stay for longer like the the politics and the fashion of new is so strong and also this desire for Berlin to be cultural capital and to deliver like star shine product then like programming more and more stars and actually importing the stars then what happens like what happens with the local artists where do they where do they and where do where does the sustained process of uh, creating or developing a, a discipline such as dances where does it have space now it's time that like the first generation of the BA is out since a while. A couple of generations of the MAs are out and some of them decide to stay. They do have different possibilities and ac accesses than people who haven't been in HZT. But also that in itself doesn't like what it creates a possibility to perform in Tanzstage for 100 euros. And then? And then like what I would kind of diagnose now, there are collectives and there are places which which are built like grassroots, which are built out of resistance, which are built through like handwork, which are built in conversation with uh, cultural operators from the scene. Like questioning attitudes and like untaking things for granted. And I have a feeling this is not something which is being done in Croatia or that's not how even I can work with myself a lot. I feel there a lot of like very direct counter action is being asked for. Um, but in that sense some other kind of more subtle political social, poetical, aesthetic, poetic, aesthetical uh, engagement is missing and I felt I was missing it and so for me this would this is a motivation to come to Berlin like in Zagreb I feel like this more subtle uh, feminist perspective is, is it's very invisible but then we do it anyway and uh, Sometimes it feels like, for whom do we do it? We do it for our 20 friends. But then it happens that like I meet somebody who's 25 and who says, when I was in high school, I was coming to Zagreb to watch your performances. And then, I mean, it somehow gives this kind of, in a small context, it's enough that one person does it. Even if they're weirdo, and if everybody, everybody of the adults like thinks they're weirdo, but for somebody coming up, like this is already a permission for like this is also possible, and this is this is amazing and it's extremely tiring. Trying to do that and then still go to demonstrations when it's important to go to demonstrations, or like make a very clear statement when it's important to make clear statement and in this sense I think this can be translated to Berlin too because there are also extreme situations here like Volksbühne getting uh, like completely lost for what it was is an extreme situation and I would think it requires like a, a direct action 
also like when when how it changed uh, leadership and when the first Antimogus came out the opening text was actually quite uh, uh, shaming the Berlin experimental weirdo dance scene and I also thought that would have asked like that could have asked also for a for a direct response and I remember at that time I was like but where is this scene that will do a response I think it's great that Ufer Studios has this uh, initiative where they invite people to talk about uh, how they operate. I somehow think that this meeting places uh, an exchange can then create impetus for collective direct action. And then the way we talk, we can practice the, our softer politics uh, of questioning how I would see myself doing this or how I'm doing it at the moment. I guess in, in like having ongoing conversations with people. Partly for me like what's really important is being uh, associated with Smash as a program. Because that's something which is ongoing, independently curated with very clear values. And it's something that thinks the politics and the future of like how do we train dance. How do we train thinking dance? How do we exchange? Who comes in? What ideas people bring in when they're 20? When they come from? Where they come from? How can we engage in this dialogue? Where do they go after? Some of them, a lot of them, I'm still in dialogue with. And this is actually like really, I think really exciting. That's somehow partly the network I feel is present around here and then because people in, like really come to Berlin. This is another possibility for Berlin, like you do get to see people once or twice a year and you can exchange thoughts. I mean, it's, it's a way how to frame political and it's also a way how to frame career. Because also like we can look at artistic work through this narrative of artistic career, which is a capitalist narrative, and we also don't need to. Of course, like one has consequences and is conditioned by something and means something, and the other one as well, but this is what we do. Uh, most of us came to Berlin one, five, eleven years ago, and uh, this makes our artistic careers very differently situated because we don't have here friends from primary school and we don't have children or our brother to babysit and we don't have um, friends from high school who studied economy and who we meet once a month and who ask what are you doing and we don't have uh, whatever even like people we meet in the street like we will not we, we don't get to know them so we, we get like and I think this situatedness is something which creates meeting with the meeting of the artistic practice with other parts of reality so we get also to be very focused on artistic career because this is like the largest part of our identity and how we like what we feel unsafe about and then what we want to feel more safe with so we want to get more grounded and we want to get better funding and we want to like and then there's this circle of funding of venues of the way things get done of the conversation about it in the Ufer studio in the Sophia and Sally hey are you here what are you up to and like and then pretty soon it can start uh, uh, to yeah to be very self uh, exhausting So then, I, at some point when I was here for longer, I was like, I need to do something else. I need to like do a pottery class with women from the neighborhood, or I need to... I think that's also something like it. Because the whole political thing is about society, like that I live among others. And I cannot escape my own subjectivity, like I will of course and also I'm doing this kind of art which is like so focused to subjectivity and perception and embodiment which is idiosyncratic but uh, 
and I like that. I don't want to. I don't want to work from like a, a programmatic political place of like my dance should illustrate the socialist values of the pre-first world war time. Even though I find this also fascinating, but this like being being next to being a community operating. I think that, that yeah, that's like the, the the key of politics, but it's also key of like healthy mind. It's like such a overexposed, over speedy, over mm, observed space. So it also feels like. If you don't get, like, if you don't make it now, then you failed. And it's kind of not like this. <laughs> and of course it's not like this. But then in the other places which are, which have other layers inside, which, uh, which are not so much under the... Then people build their works until the point that the works get visibility and then this visibility can kind of rebound and reach further. And it's now it's an interesting question and I think this is a question for for people finishing soda and then wanting to stay here or already having had some visibility in this uh, international artistic circle and maybe like not kicking off right away so so what what then and what about this crazy rule if like a producer sees your work 10 minutes of your work once three minutes of your work and they don't like it then you're gone forever yeah and then like they lived happy like then there's life after that so how how this is being done how these people and these people are us how they keep on doing it and how people keep on doing it in berlin i think this is an interesting question I mean, when I applied and entered Soda, I have been already like li living off making work as a maker and performer. And my expectation actually was to have a pocket of repose, or like to have a po to have a space of reconsideration, to have a space where like introspection. Like the space for looking would be stretched. And I somehow knew that that would bring me, or that that was my projection, that it would bring me to some other understanding of uh, why I do things, and then how I do them, and what I do. And then they would bring me to uh, how well I do them, or where I can do them, or with whom. And then maybe they would make, like this would make it more possible for me to uh, produce work in the world, on the market, with the tag of uh, Master of Arts. 